Hello everyone. A month ago I started an experiment to see which rust preventative works best. Today I'm going to give my first update on how everything's coming along, but first a quick recap. I have two sets of identical samples of mild steel, one that's kept inside my shop and mostly protected from the elements, and the other outside the shop where it is currently bearing the full brunt of the harsh Illinois winter. These samples are bent into L shapes so I can test whether there is a performance difference to the sprays on vertical and horizontal surfaces. I'm testing nine different sprays along with a bare piece of steel that acts as a control. Let's see how things are shaping up starting with the indoor samples. Well this is a pretty easy segment to film because all of these look exactly the same way that they did the day that I sprayed them. Um, we still have uh, the WD-40 corrosion inhibitor is still nice and wet. Uh, the WD-40 itself has gotten kind of tacky. I think it's started to evaporate. Bow shield is also one that's still pretty moist. Um, the rest of them dried to dry waxy coatings. We have the Cosmoline right here, the CRC, the Spray-On, and the Loctite, and then LPS-3. LPS-3 is kind of a a mix. It's not as thick as the waxy coatings is. It's almost uh, just a dry film. And then over here, screwed on to uh, the actual runner for the wall, uh, is my latest addition, which is fluid film. Uh, I added that a couple of days after I, uh, I put up the video because lots of people were saying in the comments how I should totally add this one. So um, it's nice and tacky. This is a lanolin based one. I don't want to touch it too much and potentially wear it off. Um, but it's, it's still just sort of a, a thick, greasy film. It's very wet. Uh, yeah, so nothing much going on with these fellas. By the way, I'd like to say hello to my honorary shop president from Patreon, Alberto Lopez as well as my newest Master Machinist level patron over there, Juistein Heine. If you'd like to help support the channel just like Alberto, Juistein, and all of my other patrons, check out the link down in the description. Now let's head outside and see how those poor unfortunate samples are holding up to the horrors of being outside during the Land of Lincoln's winter. Here we are looking at our control and you can see there's quite a lot of rust on it especially on the horizontal surface. There's some on the vertical, but not too much. So uh, that does make a big difference. Moving on to the Cosmoline sample, it's rust free and you can still see that there's a film on the part, especially on the vertical surface. There's a, there's a definite waxy film with a lot of texture to it. Not so much on the horizontal surface. It seems to be getting um, either washed away or dried up and weathered by the elements. So we'll just have to see how this lasts in the future. Moving next door to the bow shield, this is probably the most striking difference of all of the samples. The horizontal surface is very discolored and I don't believe it's rust. There seems to be a nice film on here but the film has actually started to dry out and flake off. This is one that remained pretty liquid, very wet. Um, so this is, a, this is a pretty interesting outcome. You can really see it over here in the corner and right up here. It's just starting to flake off and get blown away by the wind. The next two samples are the CRC and the Spray-On, and they look very similar. Both of these had a dry waxy coating, kind of similar to the Cosmoline, and they're doing the same thing. First of all, they're rust free, but the coating seems to have dried off and either is washing out or, um, or getting weathered in some other way, uh, probably through evaporation and then just sort of blowing off. The Loctite is looking waxy and thick as ever. Uh, there's no change here. If it did start to rust, I'm not sure I'd be able to tell because the spray is the same color. Uh, I can see, especially on these big globs here, where it has really dried out and started to crack a little bit. So we'll look at those spots for nucleation sites where rust might start to happen later. 
Next up is the LPS3. Again, no rust. Uh, this one does have a very thin film that dries out completely, and you can see in the corner where it's collected and started to crack and dry off. It's sloughing off pretty, uh, pretty heavily. So we'll see what happens in the corner in future months. The next two are the WD-40 samples. This is the corrosion inhibitor and this is the standard WD-40. And to me it's looking like the corrosion inhibitor is actually uh, faring worse than the standard. Both of them have rust forming on the horizontal surface. The, um, the vertical surface seems to be pretty clear, especially on the regular WD-40. But I've got a couple of pretty significant rust spots forming on the uh, the corrosion inhibitor, so that's not looking so great for that. Um, this it almost looks like dust or dirt collecting, but I think it is rust starting on the uh, the WD-40 sample. Uh, this is totally dry now, uh, so I'm guessing in future months uh, this is going to start looking an awful lot like our control down there, and probably our our corrosion inhibitor sample will as well. Lastly we have the latecomer to our experiment. This is the fluid film which I added because there were so many comments about it in the first video. Uh, it hasn't quite been outside as long as the others but I only added it maybe two days after I, I aired that first video so um, it's been out nearly the entire month compared to these other ones. There's no rust on it. There's a little bit of dust settling. The, uh, the film is actually still somewhat tacky. Um, so it seems to be holding up pretty well. We'll see how that fares as well. I'll be giving another progress report on this experiment at the three month mark. So keep an eye out for that. If you have any questions or topics you'd like to see me cover in a future video, leave those down in the description below. While you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button if you think I've earned it, and please consider supporting the channel on Patreon just like the amazing people that you can see on your screen right now. You may also want to check out these other videos. On the right, I have my playlist of videos where I'm testing things out just like this. On the top left, I have my most recent video, and on the bottom left, I have a video that YouTube thinks you'll like just as much as this one. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you next time.